get started, I am going to crack three large eggs into a flat bottom dish. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of cold water and beat until well combined. Next, I'm going to add around two pounds of fish fillets. Today I am using flounder. Catfish is another good fish to use in a fish fry. I remember growing up, my dad going fishing and bringing home tons of trout, which was my favorite. But today I'm going with flounder. I'm going to make sure that all of my fish is submerged in the egg mixture to allow everything to have a good coat of egg. And now I'm going to work on my dry mix. I'm going to add a half cup of all-purpose flour into a flat bottomed dish. I'm using actually my pie dish. You could use what you have. Now I'm going to add two and a half cups of yellow cornmeal. Now the ratio of flour to cornmeal is up to you. If you want more flour to cornmeal, if you want it evenly, it's up to you, but I like this ratio. Next, I'm going to add three teaspoons of lemon pepper. Now I only filmed two, but I ended up adding an extra teaspoon because I like lemon pepper. I'm also going to be adding one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt And for the last ingredient, I will be adding a teaspoon and a half of Cajun seasoning. If you do not have Cajun seasoning or want to use it, you could add a full teaspoon and a half of salt and then add some cayenne and paprika to your taste. Now I'm just going to give everything a whisk until it is combined well. Now that everything is ready, I'm going to set up my assembly line and I'm going to take a piece of fish, dredge it into my dry mix, and then place it on a lined baking sheet. My oil at this time is coming up to temperature. You want to fry your fish somewhere between 350 and 375. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start preparing my fish to fry. Okay, at this point I have enough pieces of fish to start frying and you could check the temperature of your oil with a thermometer, keep it somewhere between 350 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit. But what I do is I just pinch a little bit of the dredge and into the oil it goes. If it floats and start frying, I am ready. So in goes my first two pieces of fish. And I am only going to cook them because they're very thin about a minute and a half on each side or until the fish starts floating and gets a nice golden brown color.
And before I forget, I want to mention that you want to get a baking sheet or a flat bottom dish, line it with some paper towels, and transfer your fish when it's done to the paper towels to soak up any residual oil. Anytime I make a fish fry at home, it reminds me of my dad. He was an avid fisherman, and a good one at that. He'd go out to his favorite fishing spot in Chocolate Bay, and the next day he'd bring home tons of fresh trout. Of course, we cleaned them up and had a fish fry. It's one of my fondest memories of the old guy. Once my fish is done, it's time to eat. You could serve it with any side that you like. My favorite is mashed potatoes and coleslaw. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, because I like to think it's a good place to start. <laughs>